I just uh, want to give a quick video for uh, how I put together this female Mandalorian helmet uh, just to supplement uh, the Instructable. Um, the file was purchased online on CG Trader and uh, I modified it uh, quite heavily uh, to make uh, this product, but it was a great starting point and uh, there was no sense in me uh, spending a whole lot of time redesigning it. So uh, the first thing I did was uh, I cut this V shape in here with, um, uh, it just decided to give it a little something extra. Uh, these are some uh, uh, programmable uh, LED um, uh, uh, segments that I soldered up in. Uh, so these will change color if you, if you can see it, it's, it's uh, going from uh, purple to uh, red to, uh, to, uh, 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 a bluish color so they're kind of like breathing right now um, but uh, that was the first modification other modifications uh, were the earmuffs uh, these are completely redesigned uh, kind of put like a little uh, saber if you can see the design in here and put a hole in here for an LED to indicate that power is on to the system and uh, that there's something a little bit more active going on with the helmet uh, matching earpiece right here uh, for the reticle uh, stock and the servo motor. Um, that's a 25 kilogram centimeter uh, servo motor uh, that uh, an Arduino Nano is running. Uh, the wiring here it looks a little bit rough in the camera, but uh, it uh, uh, was quite a challenge to get that angle right so that the wire wouldn't uh, 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 get uh, stressed and this whole uh, this stock uh, this reticle stock fits over the, the metal horn of the servo and uh, there's a screw right behind here that holds the stock on as well uh, so uh, the stock was 3d printed on a resin printer and so that was all custom designed as well and then uh, the reticle uh, itself uh, was in, from the file and so I have some LEDs up in here uh, I, I still got to put a little bit of glue in here, hold this down a little bit. Uh, so I got some touch-up work I got to do, but I roughed it up, uh, you know, with the, excuse the bad camera work, but, um, you know, kind of roughed it up, make it look a little battle-worn, like it's been used. And um, I'll show you the other side of the reticle in a minute. So I got an Arduino Nano uh, on the inside here. It's... Um, it's under all of this. Just look at the pictures and those loose wires there are to allow for free movement. This battery pack uh, is uh, a battery pack that fits up in here uh, with the Velcro that holds it in place. I got bicycle pads in there. And uh, again, look at the photos uh, from uh, the Instructable to see how it works. This switch right down here, yeah, this little push button switch, um, uh, looks like it's got some glue on it or whatever some like little glue fuzz uh, that is what lowers the reticle so when you're wearing it um, you just basically uh, if you want to take a shot uh, like uh, pretend you're going to lower the reticle to someone you just press this button under here where my index finger is and the reticle lowers and then you get this uh, flashing red light and then you, you get a couple of flashes of the green, uh, then the caution, and, uh, and then uh, the red uh, that indicates a fire, and then, and then it actually goes right back up. And so um, the program is available in the, in the uh, Instructable as well. It took a little while to get the angle right for the reticle, if I can hold the camera here and still do this. So I wanted the stock, you know, to be, whoop, to be vertical. And uh, and so that's what that's how it how it looks when it's when it's being worn, and then and then it just drops to the horizontal position and goes through the the firing sequence. Uh, so um, you got to allow for plenty of wire movement there because uh, it's fine wire to fit in that stock, and it doesn't take much for it to break. Uh, so you got to really make sure that uh, you got that reinforced quite well. So here, let me show you again. Uh, when it lowers, this is what you see. You see the little tie fighter in the reticle, and then uh, it does the sequence up front. So that's pretty much uh, the uh, the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it.